in Newcastle. Um, commercial vehicles, non-compliant buses, coaches, HGVs will be charged £50 a day, while non-compliant taxi and private hire vehicles will be charged £12.50 a day. Private cars aren't affected. Let's have a listen uh, to what locals had to scare, say when the scheme was introduced. I think it's a great idea. Um, I mean, I think uh, I wish it would expand further. Can make like taxis and stuff more expensive, so that's kind of a worry. Um, but we've all got to like play our part. It needs to be more more money, more funding put into public transport to encourage people out of their cars. You're the mayor of Tyneside North. You welcome the new clean air zone in Newcastle. It's not the right solution to actually deal with greenhouse gases. To deal with people getting around. So these were imposed because of the air quality, which is good. Mm. You know, I've, I've heard cases of kids with asthma in hospital, yeah. but half of the particulates that get in your lungs, they come from the tyres. So it's not just about the vehicles. The solution to this is a better public transport system. And if government... But that'll take time, won't if, it? But if they'd allowed us, when this was first coming in in 2017, to design our own systems with the right access to funding, we could have got so many cars off the road. It's a better deal for motorists because they're not waiting in traffic. Mm. It's a better deal for everybody. Half the people don't even have access to a car. So better public transport and better walking and cycling is the answer.